In his contribution Wednesday to the budget debate, the leader of the opposition, Philip J. Pierre, focused much of his efforts on the healthcare sector, questioning the sum being spent on consultancy for the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. And this year, it's projected that this government will spend $18.1 million on consultancies in the Ministry of Health. Mr. Speaker, who are these consultancies being paid to? In the Ministry of Health? Are these fees being paid to friends and foreign consultants, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, the $20.3 million over the last three years and the proposed $18 million to be spent for consultancies in the Ministry of Health. Consultancies in the Ministry of Health, Mr. Speaker. Well, this government continues to show contempt for local professionals who successfully commissioned the OKE Hospital in 2021. Still on the subject of health care, the leader of the opposition turned his attention to the reconstruction of the St. Jude Hospital and called on the government to give an account of the almost $80 million it has spent on the hospital to date. I would like to get an explanation, Mr. Speaker, as to how the $79 million was used and the St. Jude Hospital still is not open. After seven years of United Workers' Party rule, seven years, Mr. Speaker, after seven years, they like to speak about years, Mr. Speaker, the United Workers' Party have been in control of the hospital construction for more than seven years. They have destroyed two buildings, and up to today, St. Jude Hospital has not opened, Mr. Speaker, and the people of the South continue to suffer from inadequate health care. The leader of the opposition painted a bleak picture of the economy, noting what he says is the yawning gap between projected expenditure and expected revenue in the 2021-2022 estimates. The revenue of expenditure, there is a gap of $802 million, projected to be $630 million at the end of this year, Mr. Speaker. And all the other deficits continue to increase. A trend before COVID and after COVID has become even more alarming, Mr. Speaker. The opposition leader argued that the government is failing to respond to the hardship on the ground, focusing instead, he says, on its preferred projects at the expense of creating relief for the many in distress. Pierre accused the government of being wasteful in the management of the economy, a tendency, he says, has worsened during the COVID-19 crisis. Stanley Lucien for the HDS News Force.